How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host, Jesse Morgan, and uh, here is that next Black Metal uh, collection update I promised. So, um, what do we got? Well, first up is a nice cassette demo from one of the Black Twilight Circle groups. This is uh, yet another side project of Valon. This is Axeman with Arrive. Really, really cool stuff. It mixes like blackened metal, not black metal, but blackened metal with some thrash bits in there. Really different than what Volan usually writes or what he does with Arismenda. Um, but really cool. Definitely check it out. There's also a 12 inch LP vinyl available of this. Uh, I don't know if it's on Crespul, Crespulcal Negro or whatever it's called. Um, but I think you can probably find it on either eBay or Discogs for an all right price. Uh, I think Discogs would probably be the better um, way to go for that though. Um, not really much on the spine. This says Axeman Arrive. And then on here, it tells you uh, what it's limited to. If I could just fucking focus, holy shit. This is the third press, and I got 245 out of 300, um, which is cool. There's a lot of these made, and definitely needs to be a lot more. Uh, the cassette is just a plain black unmarked tape, uh, but it's reround all the way when I got it, so I'll be able to figure out what side's A and what side's B. I've already listened to th through this once. Um, I had to do some dishes, and I just didn't want to fucking talk to anyone, so I threw this on to listen to it. Uh, I think it goes through all the way once on the one side, and then there's like at least a good five five or six minutes of silence or hissing. Uh, and then I think it starts up again, unless I'm wrong, and that's just like the next song that starts as a bonus track. Maybe someone can let me know if that's how that goes, but yeah. Um, so anyways comes on a red J card and then the black is the ink part um, pretty cool I, I love the uh, black Twilight Circle you know chaos vortex logo they got going on there and the Axeman logo suite I'd love to have a, a shirt with that or with the Axeman symbol on it it's pretty sweet I would die <laughs> if I owned one of those I'd be sick um, Here's the inside, like I said, red kind of cardboard J card. Uh, that's probably Volon right there, looking all menacing and grim. Then you got the lyrics and stuff. Uh, yeah. Songs on this is Metanol, Cosmic Death, and the third song is A Tester of Doom and Rebirth. Uh, recorded at Black Twilight Studio May 20th of 2009. So this has been out for a bit. Uh, I'm just I'm just late to the fucking party. Um, yeah, all compositions recorded by V and M, so I guess that's Valon and mm, the the guy maybe from Arismenda or Calathon. And then the logo and front art is by the guy from Calathon. Yeah, so probably the guy from Calathon, which is also another decent black metal. Or Black Twilight Circle band, definitely check them out as well. Um, but if you haven't give Axeman a shot, do yourself a favor and check it out. It's it's really cool. I mean, it's basically black metal, but it's it's blackened metal with thrash elements. That just it works so well. Um, there's a couple things on YouTube, but the quality's ass. Like it sounds way better on this. It's a lot warmer and a lot better production. Uh, the stuff on YouTube is very tingy, very like hissy and trebly. It sucks because uh, I would love to put this on my Xbox and download it, but I can't find a place to download this anywhere except for paying for a full new digital copy on the Bandcamp. Um, like, there's even Metal Tracker. If you see that website, it has a lot of good black metal downloads. If you need to, you know download some stuff if you only have it on like a tape or a vinyl and you need to put it onto your your, your Xbox or your iPod go to go to Metal Tracker it's pretty good I'll have a link in the you know description box below alright enough blathering on 
about that, I have some other cool stuff to show. This is the split from British Columbia black metal bands Fire Cult and Finite, the Void Cult Conspiracy. Yeah, good stuff. Comes in a, like a really, really thin cardboard case. Uh, I kind of kept the cellophane on, just cut a slit for the CD to come out of it. Um, I, I believe, sorry, this guy is the guy from Fire Call, and the guy down there is the dude from Finite. Uh, they're they're a full membered band. I I originally thought that they were both um, solo projects, but they're not. They're just they're actually full membered bands and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Uh, so it comes with two tracks from Fire Cult. All Matter Shall Come to Rest and uh, External Call to Prayer, I think? What does that say? No, Infernal Call to Prayer. And then the Finite has To, to Pierce the Godless Sky, no, To Pierce the Godless Sky and Conversion to the Cult of the Scythe. So that's pretty sick. Yeah. Um, comes on a, a CDR, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but that's okay. It has a label with both of their sick-ass fucking logos on it. I recently ordered a, a shirt by Fire Cult, but it's their, their orange flame-colored logo, so that'll be sick. And I'm currently, I don't know if you can see or not, wearing the Finite uh, shirt from their... God damn it. From uh, the new album, which I will show you next. Actually, I think it's an EP, but yeah. Um, so, anyways, this is Finite's... Uh, latest release, The Rancid Waters of Existence. Pretty sick. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. It's uh, mostly regular black metal, just, you know, straight up black metal, but also has kind of like some DSBM moments. There's some howling, there's some retching, uh, slightly kind of akin to um, Arismenda a bit. If you like Arismenda, you should love uh, Finite. Uh, definitely give them a shot. Uh, kind of reminds me a bit of Cult the Ghouls a bit too, so yeah, you you need to check out Finite. I'll provide some links in the description box below for these guys for sure. I absolutely love their logo too. It's fucking awesome. There's the CD. There's the uh, the booklet with the dudes there. Cavernous, Lord Karen, and Noose. Uh, Noose is the guy that I think actually sent me this and the shirt because on the return to package part It just had like this drawn noose there. I'm like, yes, that's sick <laughs> Fucking awesome um, There's not too much in the back. This is kind of funny though. I don't know if you can really see that Oh god damn it the glare, but there's a gun with one bullet and it says do it You can uh, you can take away from that what you will pretty funny these guys have a, a dark sense of humor for sure. Uh, there's the inside of the booklet. It's just a two-page fold-out with the you know lyrics and stuff, and uh, some interesting artwork of someone hanging, wrapped up. So there's no way he's gonna struggle out of that shit. So yeah, that ah man, I'm so stoked to have these two finite releases and. Uh, you can go over to the Bandcamp and pick a copy of each of these up right now. Not too bad. Uh, this is, I think, five or six bucks, and I think this is seven or eight bucks. So you won't be spending too much. I mean, even shipped to the States, I don't think it's going to be too bad. So definitely check them out. I'm pretty sure you can just listen to it on their Bandcamp and decide for yourself whether you like it or not. I'm not sure if it's on YouTube. If I can find a link, I'll, I'll provide it, obviously. So, um, yeah, definitely check them out. Finite. They're fucking sick. All right, next. Um, this is another black metal band from Poland, uh, but they recently moved to the UK, I believe, if I did my research properly. Um, but yeah, this is Black Altar with their first album, Black Altar. This was, this was a great find. I just stumbled across this on YouTube one day, and I'm like, holy shit, I need some of this. Because it is so damn good. It's like... Like, Catharsis meets Watain. Um, but they have their own 
unique flair too. Uh, it's pretty much straight up de uh, black metal. Like, it's uh, just venomous and fucking blasphemous and hateful and just <laughs> will piss off your neighbors to no end if you blare this. Um, it's great stuff though. I definitely recommend checking it out if you've not heard of Black Altar. You will not be disappointed if you're into straightforward black metal. That's what's behind the disc on the tray. Or Hate Death. So you can kind of get a feel for the theme they're going for. Uh, I think I have their logo in my YouTube banner. Uh, the booklet's pretty thick. Um, there's quite a few different images too on here. There. Lots of band photos and pictures and stuff like that. Pretty grim looking and evil, which is obviously amazing. Some lyrics and stuff. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I think it cost me around 19 bucks plus shipping. Uh, it was not a cheap purchase, but definitely worth it. I mean, if you went into the store, it would probably cost you like 18 or 19 dollars. So, not that any store that you know would be selling this in physical format, but hey, um, do yourself a favor and check out Black Alter's self titled album. Super good. Okay, uh, the next two are from uh, Profound Lore here in Ontario, and they got to me. Fucking quick. It took like maybe two business days. It was great. Uh, the first one you've probably heard of before because Canyon Bickle showed these off. Show, show these guys off. Uh, these guys are from originally California. They were, I think, part of the Black Twilight Circle in some, you know, extended form maybe. Uh, but yeah, this is Ash Borer with the second most recent album, Cold of Ages. They have a new one out right now uh, from 2000. Well. In, from 2016. This one's from 2013, I believe. Um, let's see here. Recorded in more March 12, 2002, 2012 rather. Yeah. So I don't know. This is 2012 or 2013, one of the two. And it's it's really good. What it, what it is is like atmospheric semi DSBM black metal. Um, but yeah, it's got some ambient parts, it's got some atmospheric parts, it's got some howls, it's got some black metal screams, it's just fantastic. It's a full-length album, uh, but there's only four songs, so you can probably guess how long each one of those songs are going to be. Uh, I think maybe the shortest is like seven or eight minutes, and then they've got like a 22-minute or 23-minute long song. It's, uh, it, but it's great, honestly. Even if you're ADD and you like black metal, you should be able to sit through this and not get too distracted. It is fantastic. Just throw it on, listen to it, and you will not be disappointed. I really, really like Ashbor, and I have something else coming from them. That's the inside there. I don't think this came with a booklet. Maybe it did. No, these panels are sealed. Um... There's that behind the uh, the tray. It's interesting, I guess. Oh man, did I even show it properly? Yeah, there it is. Uh, it's got the Luciferian symbol in there, I think, too. Maybe? I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely check out Ashbor. Really cool. I really fucking dig the logo, too. It's like an upside down crown. That's fucking sick. <clears throat> Alright, second last one here. This is also from Profound Lore. This was uh, it's a side project of one of the guys from Skeleton Witch, I believe. Uh, but this is Wolf Hammer, the with the Obsidian Planes. Uh, I just kind of taken a look through Profound Lore Records and just seeing what they had on there, and then I saw this. I'm like, hmm, I should probably check it out. Maybe it's good. 
uh, and for six dollars and sixty six cents shipped yeah it, it couldn't have been bad so anyways needless to say I checked it out on YouTube and I'm like fuck this is good stuff so I threw that in, in the cart and picked this up too so man definitely worth it definitely check out Wolf Hammer the Obsidian Plains uh, it's got a few tracks on there seven it's a decent number um, pretty much straightforward black metal uh, but they're a little lower tuned I think and the vocals are a little more crisper and bitier uh, not too trebly um, yeah this is just a really solid release and I enjoyed it a lot and the price just is absolutely unbe unbeatable um, there's not really too much in way of like pictures on the inside of this but it does have a booklet the uh, the paper it doesn't feel like glossy or matte it feels like like recycled earth paper I don't know if you understand that or not but it's got like kind of in interesting kind of raised texture to it which is kind of cool if you're a tactile person and you like the feeling of different stuff you all dig that little bonus perk um but yeah check them out neat little side project by the guy one of the guys from uh skeleton witch thanks to cameron the drummer from uh my band heathen temple for letting me know about that because that's kind of a cool little tidbit all right and the last thing i got sent in the mail um and i told them that i would be happy to do a review on this when i can get around to it and they said they'd be glad to send me a copy so this is what they sent this is the miserists self-titled debut ep i think <laughs> uh yeah this is a blackened death metal band from from australia yeah AUS is Australia right <laughs> uh, but yeah really cool uh, it's different there's no vocals it is a instrumental release um, once you get past the fact that there's no vocals it is actually pretty enjoyable it's something you could put in the background while I don't know playing fucking dead space or, or some horror themed game because this this is a uh, this will mess you up a bit it's it's pretty creepy it's got some like black metal elements it's got some death metal elements it's got some like doomy death quarry type of elements but not like that cringy type of death core that you know most of us black and death metal fans aren't really a fan of but it's it's got the good parts uh very dark very grim fucking heavy as fuck there, there there's there's some songs on here that's just like damn <laughs> Uh, yeah so anyways I'm gonna do a review on this I'll go a little bit more into depth about the instruments and kind of the atmosphere and what it brings to the table I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it this week maybe next week because I've, I've still got that scroth review to do but yeah so anyways that's it for this black metal update hope you enjoyed it I'm pretty sure you saw something new so go check that out and let me know what you think links will be in the description box below stay sick and if anyone, if anyone gives you a shit, just tell them to fucking eat 10 dicks. <laughs>